Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. This is your host, River Foxen, and we are going to try to finish Interlude today. I don't know if we will be able to, because you never know if there's going to be more map, but um, it does look, because, oops, uh, because we see this uh, crystal here, that this is the last map of Interlude. So... Let's uh, try to get through this, and we're going to go ahead and view this cutscene. Crystal Chamber. Kupo? The core is here, Kupo, in the Crystal Chamber. Hmm. The Crystal Core, the foundation of the world. I don't know why, but this place feels familiar. Is there something similar in your world? There was in mine. Well, kinda. I get the same warm feeling in here, like the place back home. I don't have fond memories of Crystal, but... As you say, this place feels familiar. It's strange. The core is the center of this world. A world created based on all of our homes. Is that why it feels like we've been here before? Yeah. Do not let your guard down. I feel a presence, one with untempered will. Yosa. Then come on, we'll find him and show him what we got. Sosa. Right. Then we might be able to save our own worlds. <laughs> I know we haven't done anything yet, but seeing the fight he uh, the light here gives me hope. Uh. Come, let's fight together. The light is with us. All right. And we're going to have some uh, regular fights, so I'll be back uh, when something interesting happens. All right, and we have a new cutscene, so let's uh, check it out. Gotta download it. The Way of Things. These are all the baddies. Wahaha, <laughs> -ha, devourer. Open the rift that all may return to the void. <laughs> Hiding something so delicious from us. Ooh, what naughty gods. <laughs> where the balance is disrupted, that is where we exist. Time, space, compress it all and deliver it to me. Monsters. You think you are any different? I answer to no god. I am ruled by no one. <laughs> then show me as you go against the order of this world. Spiritus, why do you stand by as they destroy your creation? If you had a duty to protect your world, you would not have summoned those with minds of destruction. This is not my world. Mine is another world, one of unending strife. That is what maintains my realm. This world was to be a place of respite for those warriors, or so it was made to appear. If those warriors wish to continue their battles here, so be it. Nani? Another world, made to appear. A parallel world, in which warriors fight endlessly of their own volition. This world is merely its counterbalance. Yurusanzo. Preposterous. I have a home to return to, as does the urchin and all the others. Who do you think you are? What are you going to do? <laughs> I will destroy this world. And then I will destroy everything. I will take back my life with my own hands. Hmm. You cry for justice, and in the end follow the order of this world. <laughs> Fight, my warrior, and feed my world. Mm, right. 
Well, that was interesting. We get some motivation for Vane. Anyway, we have some uh, little fights, so I'll be back when something interesting happens. And we have another cutscene. It's interesting, there's been no uh, boss battles up until now, and we're getting pretty close to the end. There was a, a treasure over here, um, but that's about it. So let's uh, move on to this cutscene. i got to download it. Center of the World. Look! There's something by the core, Koopo! Oh, that's scary looking. I guess that's going to be the boss fight. It's latched onto the crystal. It's absorbing its light. So all we need to do is peel it off. Uh -oh. What? Van, who else is here? Hee hee hee, the plains gorger is enjoying his meal. Hmm. Plains gorger, explain yourself. This one is but an infant. Plains gorgers devour everything. They devour light and power, and once full, they await to hatch. An infant, Kupo! How did that make its way in here? The new larvae gathered using the power of the blackened will as a guide. The plains gorgers wish to grow and devour the world and give birth to nothingness. Kupo, this is all my fault, Kupo. Don't say that. Let's just focus on defeating that thing, okay? Oh, ring! This crystal is on a one-way trip to the roughed up one side and back down the other. Hmm. Or, in any case you didn't know, the Blackened Will was also an itty-bitty teeny-weeny part of a plane scorcher. It used the Moogle to consume the energy it needed to mature. There must have been a problem with the host. That it would hatch in that form was unexpected. A plane scorcher was in me, Koopo? <laughs> but thanks to you, Moogle, its larvae made its way to this world. I applaud you. It is only a matter of time until this world becomes as the void. Shut up. We're not going to let that happen. You think we're going to stand around while that thing gets bigger and eats our worlds? Not a chance. We can resolve this from our respective worlds. Who asked you? <laughs> I have no desire to be a tool for these gods. Once the crystal is destroyed, we will be free. Hold. The crystal won't last much longer. We can make a break for it. Stay out of our way! Gah! It's cracking, Koopo! Uh-oh. Are we too late? No! What'll happen to this world now? I'd be more worried about what's going to happen to me if I were you, who? The Plains Gorger's coming this way, Koopo! Struggle, children. Alright. Don't take your eyes off the beast. We need to fight it. Alright, looks like that's gonna be our boss fight. And sure enough, there it is, and I notice that the crystal is gone. Alright. Let's see here. It's just the one thing. Alright, well let's begin. Alright, who do I want to take with me? I have no idea. Devourer of Dimensions. Level 75 Planes Gorger. 
It may be little, but it's a plane scorcher, Koopo. It's gotten tremendous powers from the crystal, Koopo. It can use the crystal's power to absorb some elemental attacks, Koopo. Watch out! Even so, we've got to fight. Indeed, we mustn't allow it to devour this world. Alright. Okay, let's see here. I want you to do that. I think it has a lot of hit points. And deep protect. Ooh. Did that? That went straight for the hit points. Wow. Luckily, I have that. Alright, you dispel. That's buffs. You to stone, trying to get back this turn. And then I want you to high wind. And we did it. cutscene. Another world. We defeated it, but what about the crystal core? It shattered. What's this light? It's brilliant and full of the things I've lost. Your memories? Have they returned? Hmm. Yeah. No. But I sense something. Now? Really? <laughs> Has the world's destruction begun? places we've been. The world's foundation is ruined. Is this where it ends for us? No, it is not the end of everything. There is still time. It stopped. Did you do this? No. The core of darkness has sensed a shift in balance. This is news. There is more than one core. The pillar of this world is created from a crystal of light and a crystal of darkness. You have been traveling through the planes of that light. Where there's light, there's darkness. Does that mean the darkness has become stronger? Only temporarily. The crystal core of darkness is sustaining the world for now. But without both cores, the world will inevitably collapse. Um, is there anything we can do? I know this crystal is shattered. There is hope. That shining power you picked up. The part of the crystal I absorbed. You can all do the same. And when countless warriors have acquired that brilliance, the crystal core of light may be revived. None of the pieces here are as brilliant. The others must have been cast outside this realm. To the world of darkness? The planes ruled by the dark crystal core, our next goal. It will be an arduous journey. However, the light will give you new power. What about the warriors of Spiritus? They seem to want the world destroyed. They must now seek the dark crystal core, head for its world. They may have 
already gained pieces of light. Way to stack the odds. <laughs> we have no choice. You have a rival to worry about too, right? Right. When the balance between light and darkness crumbles, that's when it appears. Spirit Moogle, can you guide these warriors? Of course! I'll do my best, Kupo. I'd like to borrow your power to get there, Kupo. Very well. Now, go, my warriors. Protect this land. The light is with us. Let us come together for our friends, for our homes. Alright. Field cleared. Alright, and that is the end of Interlude. So now we can finally move on to Act 2. And this is a big area. There's all, right, all the way up to Act 2, Chapter 8. But we obviously want to go to Act 2, Chapter 1, Drawing Chaos. And I'm just clicking on it to see if I need to do anything. A world filled with chaos. Who is this guy? Naruhodo. No time nor space. Only chaos. There is no worthy history here. <laughs> what do you think of this world? A world in which the feats and faults of the dead disappear into chaos. You remember the dead? Are you a lessee? I was. Once. Was? Once you're a lessee, there's no going back. It bears the same name, but differs in your world and mine. Seven, is it? You possess a heightened soul. How do you know my name? Who are you? Where are we? I am Caius Ballad, protector of history. But in this world without history, I am but a warrior. You're from another world? Then I'm guessing I'm not in Orients. That goddess, Materia, told me my friends were here. Have you seen them? They have uniforms like mine. Apparently they're working with people from other worlds like you. <laughs> you must begin your journey. Seek the night they call lightning, and you will find your friends. What? We will meet again at the appointed time. Wait, but... The goddess's knight remembers nothing of her duty. Forgive me. So I believe he's from 13-2. And she's obviously from type 0. And it looks like she's the only uh, new character we're going to get in this chapter. Anyway, I'm going to move on with Act 2, Chapter 1 next time. So if you enjoyed this Let's Play, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon if you're so inclined. And I'll see you later. <laughs>